pride, pleasure and not a little humility that we now present to you a whole new concept in themed family entertainment. Because it's time to say, tickets please, as top celebrity Radio 1 DJs Mark Radcliffe and Mark Riley take you on a once in a lifetime, never to be forgotten tour of Manchester's legendary rock landmarks. And can I just say what a privilege it is to introduce a film as fine as this one. Well done lads, I'd video it if I were you. Research, you know. Nice one, Archie. Yeah. About coming up now on the left hand side is one of the world's legendary rock and roll hotels, the Arosa, where Jimmy Rotten and the Sex Pistols were forcefully ejected for coming on the sumptuous settee. That's right, but that settee has now been re upholstered, so it's not worth stopping. Calm down, everybody. It gets even better. Better! Better! Oh, brilliant. This is going to be great. This bit, can you bit? Come on, come on, spread some coffee down just down the front, you big lardy lads, stay at the back, have a bit of respect, right? We now find ourselves at a building which is not in a state of disrepair, which is something of a novelty for this tour, although uh, if you notice, the gable end is in dire need of extensive repointing, just up there, I'm sure you've noticed that already. But it was in this humble first floor suburban flat that Factory Records was born and would play home to such great Manchester bands as Joy Division, a certain ratio. Jurati Column and um, oof, uh, Crispy Ambulance. But it was also in this humble suburban first floor flat that New Order's bass player Peter Hookie, 
Hookey developed his distinctive low slung bass technique. And hark, I do not Adam and believe it. What is that what I am hearing now? Yeah, what number Keppel Road is it, the Bee Gees what? house? What number Keppel Road, what is it? I haven't a clue, mate. I thought you were looking it up. Oh, no, I forgot. Um, Sorry, mate. We're gonna, uh, I'll be all right, we'll busk it. We'll just busk it, they'll never know, will no, they? Right, come on. Come on. Whoa, 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 hang on, wait there, wait there, hold, hold your horses. horses. Right, now then, it was actually in this house here, Yeah. honest, Yeah. now probably occupied by a couple of Spunion students, I should think so, that the Bee Gees, uh, the Bee Gees, that's Barry, Robin and... Boris yeah, were brought up by the parents. Uh, their parents, that's Mr. and Mrs. Bee Gees. Right. And it was in this very house, uh, honest, that they wrote such classics as New York Manny Disaster. Yeah, good call. J jiving, jiving talk. I don't like that one, do you? No. Night fever, staying alive. And yeah, all right, again. all right, all right, yeah. But once they got successful, typically, they forgot the roots and they moved. They moved. It's terrible, that. They moved up there. Just It was a bigger house. It was. It was a bit of a bigger house. So deep is your love. Spirits have him flown. All right, no, then. Shut it, know. Granny. Right, let's all get back on the bus. Come, Come on. on. It was crap, we should have found our way out, but they'll never know, will they? Yeah. I mean, right. let's face it, they're thick, aren't they? Thick. Hey, <laughs> how much have you made so far? I've got 50. Yeah, right, I've got a bit more than another 20. Right. Anyway, anyway, uh, fun fanatics, we now approach not afternoon tea with the notorious Gallagher Brothers in Burnage. You will have to wait for that, but we now approach, well, uh, B&Q, innit? Yes, B&Q, or as it was known in the 70s, Smith's Do It All! <laughs> Hallowed portals at many a great gig took place. For example, Dave Bowie, T Rex, Lou Reed, Status Quo, and also John the Postman. And in fact, multi million selling rock combo Slade rocked them in the very aisles now occupied by mixer taps and bathroom accessories. But the biggest gig in the 70s was, of course, Led Zeppelin, heavy metal hobgoblins, whose show was in such demand. It nearly sold out. Very nearly sold mm. out. Fantastic. And to prove that it does indeed fantastic, we will now recreate the performance on the site of the original Hard Rock stage, now occupied by a range of vinyl floor coverings at surprisingly reasonable prices. Mm -mm. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold and she's riding a stairway to hell. When she's excuse me, lads, excuse me, lads. What? what? Where, where's the nail bags? Uh, nail bags. Aisle three by the claw hammers. Oh, that's right. right, come, come on, on everybody. Come on, you've seen it now. Right, did you all enjoy that? Never mind. Uh, coming up very shortly, afternoon tea with the infamous Gallagher Brothers of Burnage. Yes, but next, a sight of such importance, we are going to use over five quid worth of petrol getting there. And remember, price of ticket does not include price of fuel. <laughs> Only joking. Oh, good job, that. Uh, but since it's such a long way away, at this point, we're going to have the speed to film up. So hold on. Enjoying it? No, it's crap, innit? Crap. They're enjoying it. Oh, they love it. They can't get enough, can they? Loving every minute of it. Loving every minute. Should we do a song? No, I can't be that. You do one if you want. I'm not bothered. Now then, you lucky punters, we find ourselves in Cheadle Hume. Why, you might ask. Why? Oh, you did ask. Well, I'll tell you why. It was because here, 
blues bloke John Mayle of seminal band John Mayle's Blues Bloke lived for a time in a tree. Silly bleeder. Yeah, he lived in a tree house and it was in the branches of this very tree that he used to strum guitars with his great showbiz pals Eric Clapton and Jimmy Page. Sadly, the tree is now in a state of disrepair, but if you look very, very closely, you can still see remnants of John Stay up the tree. Comedy there. Move over Benny Hill. Well, Benny Hill's dead, but you get me drift. On next week's programme, we celebrate the start of the new soccer season with a profile of the North West's leading football philosopher king, Neil Ruddock. Holy joking, Eric Cantona. Plus, we look back to the golden age of Northern Soul. Until then, Mr Boone, play that tune. <laughs> <laughs>